I bring it every day. Kelly is absolutely bonkers for fiber arts and yarn works. Into that stitch, the V's pull through the last two. That's treble stitch. Especially crocheting. Hobby Lobby hauls made today uh, in conjunction with my husband. Then the next thing she shares a lot of her fiber arts that. group um, get togethers on live streams. So I did post the superfoods in the chat. <laughs> They'll have started, you uh, yarning. Well, the funny thing is, one, no one of my relatives, <laughs> one of my husband's relatives, uh, came in and she was like probably like 12 years old and she's like, I hate green beans. And then she tasted them in the oven and she was like, I love green beans. <laughs> Kelly is very knowledgeable. That's not a group. Those are the <laughs> the wool and, donation uh, I, committee. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this so is I've been group. doing just kind of a lot of um, yeah, so today's a, it's a small meeting. It's really nice. So a lot of times people don't come in <laughs> as much. And when YouTube land joins in, the crocheting and knitting group becomes more fun. Do some chemical tests on yarn and this one doesn't have any. The only way in. Kelly could possibly have more fun with crocheting and knitting is if you join her and I bring it every day. Check her out. Story time with Uncle Bill. If you got more than one uncle, chances are one of them is Uncle Bill. Hi there and welcome to story time with Uncle Bill. It was easy money for me. So um, one day we was all at the table and this mouse had ran up from underneath the sewing machine. If you present a mouse to me, I guarantee I'll eat it. When I bit and I started chewing, <laughs> that tail, I mean, it was hanging way out there. It was, oh I think as soon God. as I threw it in my mouth, there was an eruption of puke. I mean, it was... <laughs> And you gotta, you gotta understand and picture this. Oh, y'all, I'm no so room. sorry. <laughs> you're front up on somebody, you're really... But that I mean, story was, time was Uncle Bill. It's just... He's going to keep it real. Real interesting. It's not always stories, though. There's everything from fitness to food. Story time with Uncle Bill follows Uncle Bill at work, at play, and Working all things in between. Yeah, cleaning up this walkway right here. It's totally buried on the grass, nobody... Yeah. Yes, he is pushing a stick through animal poo. <laughs> After all, it's those things that happen in between the stories that make the stories, right? And it's the stories that make story time with Uncle Bill. Check him out. Sweet Fern Homestead. What's an optimistic suburban homesteader like Hannah to do? Well, let her show you with her very functional and beautiful potager garden. Now, some people call them potager garden, like Hannah does. Now, some people also refer to them as kitchen gardens because these are like herbs and fruit and vegetables and oh, ornamentals geez. that are all grown on the same plot. Great. You can see there's like lots of blank spaces and fill in some of the gaps where the peas didn't germinate. These are the peas here, and you can see there's just like no pea, no pea, no pea. She really these likes those I'm peas, I think. Using these. I'm going to use them as pea sticks. When you plant peas on a trellis, usually your trellis, there's quite a gap between the plant growing and the bottom of the trellis. Sweet Fern Homestead does a lot of food preservation and medicinal yeah, plant growth and storage. I might want to have, like, if it was a full moon or new moon. I'm just going to start by saying it has been. There are other videos like just like daily life vlogs. Growing my own food right now. So if you like being in harmony with the earth as you homestead or you're a fan of gardening, potager style and healing with medicinal plants check out sweet fern homestead fiber arts crocheting and knitting cool stories life and redeeming time with uncle bill homesteading while unearthing sacred roots are these your people <laughs>